Well, it's important because more and more of the world is being measured digitally. Business performance being one of those things, and it has a big impact on performance, being aware of what your business is doing, how it's performing. The more these things get measured, the more efficiently we have to show them to people in terms and in the context in which they make decisions. So visualization is a great way to do that. It makes these measurements apparent to people in their decision-making context so they can act upon them. We have tables, lists, numbers, I call them alphanumerics, words and numbers on a screen, are a form of visualization. They're just a symbolic visualization. They're not, they don't utilize spatial metaphors to convey their nature because that's been difficult with crude uh, uh, screen rendering capabilities. I mentioned performance, uh, but a lot of those barriers are going away. So there are many more uh, physical metaphors that we can apply to visualization. And I, by that, I don't mean specific metaphors like dashboards and pies. We can get to that later. But spatial representations of numbers that are much more intuitive to people to help them make decisions in a fast-paced environment. In particular, being able to compare numbers to context, to other numbers, um, to historical numbers, to industry averages. I think that's the big opportunity. We haven't done enough of that because the performance hasn't been there to get those numbers rendered well in front of people so that they can make decisions. And now we do. HTML5 is another technology that allows the screen rendering to be quick and dynamic and accurate. Uh, and keep up with the data that Han is sending it. So it's a very exciting time to be a visualization designer, especially at SAP. HANA, HTML5, and the broad reach through mobile and software as a service distribution. The metaphors that we've been using for software are changing. They've been machine metaphors that the soft, software is a machine, that we view the mach machine and its processes and we communicate with it much like we do an automobile or a factory shop floor. A, that's to use the metaphor to get people to understand that running a business can be just like running a car or driving a car. But after a while, that becomes what's called a dead metaphor, that the metaphor becomes more of a problem than a benefit in people understanding the product because we don't have to adhere to the rules of the physical world in software. We can do whatever we want. It's pure light. Once people understand that, the opportunities are endless for innovation, that we don't have to render a button as a button in your car or a speedometer or show a number as the speedometer in your car. It can be anything. It can be a bar. It can be just a number. It it can be light, it can be a color, light or dark. And that's where there's so much opportunity for innovation right now. The most common error is emphasizing surface appeal, cosmetic appeal, flash, wow, instead of thinking about what the end user is trying to do. Workers in their workplace are trying to solve problems. They're often stressed. They have time pressures. A nice looking or entertaining visualization is okay to them as long as it still helps them achieve their goal. It can be beautiful, but perhaps in different ways. The beauty is more about the dynamics, the ease of use, the transitions, the flow. Flow is a big word. That's probably the biggest error is we think of visualizations as static paintings. They're more like films. Software is a time-based media. Things happen before, things happen after. Good prototypers and designers think of everything in terms of movement through time. That's a big change. Using that medium, that channel, to improve the visualization, what happens before, what happens after, is the user following, do they know where this is going, and that we keep up with them more than the surface, the reflections, the colors, the textures. That's not as important anymore, and often that distorts the data. Aesthetics, utility, equal elegance, and that's our goal.